So this afternoon, I will teach you now. Uh, last week, tiduro ang kayo ng paano magstructure, magnarrow down ng topic to a research question. Hopefully, nagawa nyo na ano po. So this afternoon, naman po, would be paano naman tayo sumulat ng literature review. So una, uh, kailangan nating maintindihan ng literature review is a process. Ano po? Process yung uh, medyo mahaba-haba. Um, kailangan ng preparations, kailangan ng mais, ma masusing topic selection, yung narrowing down, then research strategies na kailangan natin gawin, saan ba makakakuha ng mga literature, then paano natin i-evaluate or interpret ang research, and paano natin siya i-organize at i-outline. Pangalawa, bibigyan ko kayo ng template ng draft, ng isang paragraph na example ng paano maggawa ng literature review. So strategies, tapos paano i-introduce and conclude, tapos ano yung dapat iwasan when you do the literature review. Uh, again, ang assumption ko dahil nagkaroon kayo ng practical research sa, sa senior high school, ito yung uh, parang uh, chapter 2 ng ating uh, thesis or ng ating research project. So the literature review is understood to be a synthesis of the studies on an, any given topic. So pag sinabi tang synthesis, uh, na tatandaan ko, tig explain ko sa Indo, uh, ang analysis, saka ang synthesis, garo sin, sinda magtugang or garo sinda duwang magkaibang uh, mukha. Pag sinabi tang analysis, uh, halimbawa tinawan ko ka muning sarong spare part kan sarong uh, device or machine. Uh, tapos pinakalas ko sa Indo yung part na yan para mabibawa tanggalon ang tornilyo, ang mga alambre or itong mga wire. So ang, pagtang ang pagtanggal or pagkalas is your analysis. Tapos ang pagbuo giraray ka yan gamit ang iba pang kunyari ngaya from hindi sa uh, machine na cellphone, hindi sa rohali sa laptop. So pag tigcombine ko kunyari itong mga spare parts or mga tinanggal kong piyesa, Duman sa saro pa man piyesa kan saro pang machine tas kinumbine ko sinda ang apod na katosynthesis so ang pagkalas is analysis ang pagbuo giraray gamit ang iba-ibang parts kang iba magkaibang machine is your synthesis so kagaya ng mga literature kadakulong ka mong mababasa pero kay puhan nindong kalason itong mga mababasa nindo because they need to gabus kay puhan makuha ka mong kay puhan duman sa literature na to and then pag nakunyari may sampulo or lima ka mong nakuha ng literature, pag sasaroon, ikuforum ba hindi ito and magbubuo ka muna sarong bagong uh, garo paragraph, iyon na to ang synthesis kang studies duman sa topic na ito. Ano po? So usually, the literature review precedes or naglilid para makabuo ka ng full-length original study as a way of introducing the general topic. Kaya kaipuhan ng literature review kasi siya itong ma-determine whether um, ang study na yan or topic na yan, karapat dapat pag -adalan. The purpose is to help the reader understand the background to your study and to see how it's how it's the next logical study to be conducted in this domain. So, kumbaga, di kita basang-basang lang ma-decide ma na ini na ang topic ka kasi nahilig ng problema siya sa community. Pero di itatig hiling itong mga pag-adal na ginibo about that problem. So, kaya tatawanan ta ang mga parabasa ning literature review para maintindihan nila na ay iyo ini na talaga ang sunod na dapat na pag-adalan kasi sabi kang mga nag-aradal before tungkol sa topic na yan ini ang dai pa naadalan necessarily a good literature review requires a thoroughly researched topic kung sinabi tang thoroughly researched topic carefully masyadong masusing pinag-aralan ang topic na yan be prepared for a writing process so the writing process is a very long process. Kung may problema ka mo sa pagsurat, dahil sasabihin nindo ba kung mga kami sir English major o ba kung kami matibay sa English, well, nagdadahilan lang kita kasi baka ang reason is dahil kita nagbasa. Ano po? So ang solusyon kung paano kita maging marahay na para surat, magbasa kita. Ano po? Magbasa ni magbasa. And I emphasize that to you in the weeks uh, following this or before this uh, lecture. So do not attempt to write a literature review overnight. This process takes weeks and months. So yes, months po. Uh, kaya uh, after kaniyong week na niyo, day mo na kita maklase, in virtual, pero hayaan ko ka mong magbasa, magsurat. Mga two weeks iyan. Ano po? So pag inimagine po, kainin doon sa buong manuscript ng thesis, it's, uh, kunyari, 100 pages siya. Ano po? 
20 to 30 percent kayan or 20 to 30 pages kayan literature review. So imagine po nindo 20 to 30 pages ang susuratan nindo para sa literature review kung sanggatos na pages ang isusurat nindo. Kung 50 pages naman ang sa tong buong research po on chapter 1 hanggang 5, uh, 10 to 15 ano po ang kay tang literature review 10 to 15 pages now baka uh, ayan illustration lang yan para maintindihan nung gaano sir ka dakol ang sarong literature ang review ng sarong literature for the preparation there are a number of preliminary steps to consider number 1 determine whether the literature review will be quantitative so kadakla na pag-adal uh, mas siguro kang practical research in the quantitative kaya theory driven siya maghiling kita ni mga theories na related duman sa topic ta pag qualitative at least ay masyadong theory driven uh, magbasa ka mo about the topic okay na siya so either choice will determine your emphasis on statistics kasi syempre kung kung quality quantitative siya magamit ka ng statistics and hope during your high school nag-agi ka mo degree ano po nag basic statistics ka mo Topic selection and narrowing na tinukdo ko last time. So, pagpa-imbudo siya, ano po, so pabugsok. So, nag-general topic, tapos pababa siya, ano po. Then, kagaya ng sabi ko din last time, read, read, read. This time, research, research, research. In order for you to be able to prepare for the literature review. Topic selection. Work with your professor or your instructor like me on the research that you're going to do. Kaya po, baga ako nagtaon ng dokumento last week na ay niyang dapat din doon uh, filapan or suratan. Tanganing uh, ma, ma assist ko kamo kung paano nindo gigibo ng sa indong literature review and project. Examine a wide array of resources for ideas on topic selection, such as textbooks. Kaya lang niya na nakapandemic kita, dahil mga kamo masyadong allowed mag library, kaya dahil kamo ka access sa mga textbooks. Ang, ang advice ko is Google Scholar or Google mismo or web search. So, hanapon ang mga titles and abstracts kang mga topic nindo pagpahiling ko in the last time, tapos i-explore din nindo itong mga theories related to your topic. And then hanapon itong limitations. Pag sinabing the limitations or limitations, you, hanggang duman lang ang sakot nindo. You find your niche. Then remember to brainstorm with other individuals. Kaya grupo baga ka mo, halimbawa lima ka mo or sampulo ka mo sa group, mag-brainstorm, mag-urulay ka mo kasi dahil pwede saro lang ang nag-decide, saro lang nag-aaram. Kapag abot ka mga presentation, haputon ka mag-abos. Now, uh, after the preparation, um, day mo na kita mag-develop ng outline habang nagbabasa kita kasi may influence ang kayo ng pagbabasa mo. Magbasa mo, nagirar mo na, then later ang pag-outline. Tapos, tangani matabangan ka mo sa referencing or sa pag-keep uh, kang notes nindo, use RefWorks, Sotero, or Mendeley. Uh, may separate kitang uh, lecture ka ini, pero... Uh, pwede na ka mong mag-advance ng search about ano ang Zotero, ano ang Mendeley, ano ang RefWorks. Ano po. It, it helps you organize your bibliographies or your citations. Be professional in your selection of sources. Tandaan ta po, perming dapat journal article, madalas, tanganing mas makonvince kita na, ah, okay, peer-reviewed yan. Nigtig-review yan kang kapareho ninda mga scientists or researchers. These are your research strategies. Included in your research strategies, dapat uh, enormous resource ang hahanapon ta. Databases are enormous resource for literature review. So abstract databases are helpful if you if you if you use, be sure to order articles. Um, Kung baga igwa pong inaapod na Philippine e-journals, ano po? And then si Google Scholar na tinokbo ko sa in the last time. Okay, paano na ngunyan i-evaluate? Bilang parabasa ka na, paano mo na-interpret si mga research na winasa mo? Number one, ensure the information is both accurate and unbiased. Pag sinabing accurate, uh, exact, uh, pati mga, kaya ako duman sa peer review nagpapahanap sa Indo, kasi ito, pig, pig review ito kang mga specialist or expert. Pag sinabi naman unbiased, they siya kunyari, pig-commission kang sa wrong kumpanya. Ah, di medyo may ano na yan, may, may bias na yan duman sa kumpanyang ito. Then stick to peer-reviewed sources only. Uro utroon ko yan. Peer-reviewed are those that are journal articles na published ano po, sa mga, uh, mga scientific or research journals. Some inter internet source can be very up-to-date and therefore can be especially useful if statistics are required. So kung kaipuhan mo ng quantitative na mga statistics ang backup, so dumang ka sa up-to-date 2021, 2020, ano po. 
So, yan. Then, be guarded against any research that claims to prove an idea. Usually, data man na prove ang idea agad-agad. What happens is, um, we will be saying na ini ang nadagdag doon sa body of knowledge. Ano po? And then, consider each study's methods, measurements, and significance. So, ano mga hinahanap na pag nagbabasa kita? Ano ang sa iyong methods na ginamit? Quanti ba siya or quali? Tapos anong klaseng design? Measurement, anong ginamit na measurement para masabing valid, accurate ang mga results niya. And then, kisa ini significant. Ano ta sinurat ang research na ni? So, pag nagbasa lang po kita, nag-download kita ng research review or literature, um, hilingon ta itong ining tulong ini. Hilingon ta din ang methods na ginamit, ang measurement na ginamit, ang significance na ginamit. Or na ilinaan. Finally, take caution when you encounter research studies, especially qualitative research studies that attempt to show causality. So, ang qualitative, the AN mapahilin ng cause and effect. Ano po? So, cause and effect usually present in sa quantitative. Kaya, pag nagbabasa ka mo, man, may hiling man po nindi yan kung, ah, okay, ako ini yung, ay, kaduda-duda ini yung study ini yung. Kasi, qualitative siya, pero may causality or na cause and effect siya. So organization is key to the construction of an effective literature review. Let your outline flow from your research. So pag nag outline na ka mo, garo ka mo nag nagsusurat na ng garo istorya. Ano po? So pwedeng chronological, ano po? Pwedeng topic. Kunyari, topic A is about, uh, kunyari, ang topic nindo is about um, wiring. So kunyari, ang, so, mga, ang arrangement nindo is by topic, wiring, um, using what, wiring in the Philippines, wiring in other countries. Ano po? The limitation would be uh, tungkol lang inigabas sa wiring. Wiring A, wiring B, wiring C. I don't know kasi a topic about wiring. Then chronology, pwede, pwede siyang uh, ini ang up-to-date 2021 na study about wiring, 2022, uh, 2020, 19, 18, etc. So chronology or chronological. Chronology Make piles on a large table, literally. Pay extremely good attention to key definitions as you do research. Tandaan po nindo na may mabasa kang research nindo na the expert or the itatao kayang. Kaya mag i define pa siya. Ano ang ibig sabi yung kang wiring. Establish which studies are going to be most important for your review. Take more thorough notes on these studies. So, igwa kayan yung mga studies na kamukha kang pinagaadala nindo or model studying inaapod ka. Nindo ngay nakahiling ka sa online na ay ini ang magayo na study. So, yun ang model mo. So, dumang ka mag-pay attention. Ano po. However, avoid too many quotations in your notes. Allow only one to two quotations maximum. Learn how to paraphrase phrase well. So, um, they po masyadong i-advisable. They talaga advisable ang gabus na paragraph na ka-quote. Ano po. Dapat i-paraphrase ta siya or i-put ta siya into our own words. Then, use refworks to Tero Mendeley to keep all the information organized. Create a topic outline before you begin drafting. So again, garo ka A, then under A, you have one, two, three, four, five. Garo aro ka tumpri nisan ko sa bagong agenda to the day. Then in your literature reviews, introduction, identify the topic. And on topic mo, establish why it is important, define any crucial terms, and engage any theoretical discussions kung igua. Ano po? Also, arrange the research in a way that it will uh, be. Um, good to look at ano po so pwedeng again pwede siyang i-organize by date or by topic or by um, limitations remember as you outline logical cohesion and flow are vital so this is about organizing and outlining crafting strategies so follow your topic outline as you write kung iwa ka ng outline eh, sunod, sundan mo lang to uh, pasok mo itong mga literature na nakuha mo and then uh, develop and maintain a logical progression Think of a giant funnel. So, pagpabugsok siya ng pabugsok hanggang ma, ma sift or masara ta itong pinaka-topic na talaga. The paper, this paper is not a glorified list. Demonstrate consistencies in and relationships between the literature you've studied. So, dapat mapahiling mo itong connection kang mga literature. They pwedeng one paragraph, one literature, and then mabayaan mo. So, that's weak literature review. Likewise, emphasize the stronger studies. Itong sinasabi ko sa bagong model research. Ano po, i-emphasize sa tatangan. Hindi man kita mismo naguhugo. Make the implications of your information and any suggestions for further research as specific as, specific as possible. So, ibig sabihin po kaini, um, 
kumbaga dai ka lang ma-present kang mga literature na basa mo matao ka maning sa diri mong voice or implication kung ano kay puhan pag-adala kasi iniyo ang nasa sitwasyon di ra kaya now this is an example of a paragraph ano po um from Ellen G uh, from the center uh, writing center Q for ano po so this is a simple paragraph with transition um ang mga naka green yan ang mga references ta or in text citation tang inaapod ang mga nakapula yan ang mga transition words na ginagamit ta so take note um in this particular paragraph may one si Kaskelly Kaminsky Dewey 2001 tapos Rivers and Stoneman tapos si Nat et al na nabanggit so again uya na itong sinasabi ko sa bago sa indong kinalas <laughs> tigkaralas mo si sarong uh, literature pinut together mo si na uya na siya this is the synthesis na sinasabi ano po so um dai po pwede itong sarong paragraph sarong author lang halos ang nagtaram ano po garo ka man lang po kaya dai nag synthesis ano po so uh, pag binasa ta siya researchers have conducted studies about siblings of special needs and autistic children because this group is vulnerable to adjustment difficulties Kaskelly 1999 now here comes the transition in fact specialists have compared the sibling autism relationship to the MR relationship they have also studied the importance of the family and particularly the mother in this relationship another transition in addition and then another in-text citation Kaminsky and Dewey in 2001 found that the autism sibling relationship is characterized by less intimacy and pro-social behavior. This study, and watch out another transition, likewise, reports that these relationships were marked by fewer instances of quarreling. While this phenomenon may occur because of the unique situation of the autism sibling relationship, less fighting is also a positive illustration of a relationship marked by more uh, admiration. Another transition, furthermore, in another um, literature, or in text citation, Rivers and Stoneman in 2003 defined this relationship as asymmetrical. These results are also similar to the MR sibling relationship as reported by Not et al., another in text citation or another source. Then in Ulitz, si Rivers and Stoneman 2003 revealed too that parents worry about the autism sibling relationship in their families. The importance of the family's influence on this autism sibling relationship is very useful for this research study and thus will be discussed in the conclusion of the literature review. So you see the very uh, good example of how to use transition at the same time, how we illustrate ang synthesis na nangyari sa mga studies. When you introduce your literature review, you would just say this chapter uh, talks about the topic, kung ano topic yan. Uh, this will be structured according to kung ano si mga outlines mo. And then uh, the, the chapter will end with a uh, statement of the problem. So you see, um, you you structure your your state your chapter two with or your literature review with introduction, then the very very long body, and then a conclusion at the very end. So specifically identifies the study that will follow. Anong masunod? Ano ano ang gigibuhon mo? Basis na ko among literature. So these are the ones that we should avoid and professional language. Uh, Haliunta itong pagiging cheekiness or emotional appeal. Haliunta yan. Don't plagiarize. Be ex extremely careful with your paraphrasing. Ano po? So they pwedeng anas na lang uh, quotation without in-text citation or paraphrasing na they quote lang paka-paraphrase. Many quotations is not allowed. At least too long for the entire 15 pages or 30 pages. Lack of fluency and cohesiveness, your literature review should not read like a list of facts. So, kaya kay pohan maggamit in transitions, ipahiling ang connections, and develop it logically. Any question?